Have you ever considered the immense benefits that meditation has to offer? There's a reason why this practice has become so popular and why our other channel that offers guided meditations has grown so steadily over the years. Perhaps you've even started meditation, but you're looking for a little support to make that practice a little more consistent. In today's video, I'll share some of the most well-known benefits, as well as some of the benefits that I'm aware of that aren't talked about quite as much. I'll also give you some really helpful tips so that you can have a meditation practice that you can be consistent with and can really serve your needs. Keep in mind, just like any other skill, the practice of meditation takes time and consistency to really reap the benefits. Welcome to the Mindful Movement. I'm Sarah Raymond. Thanks for joining me. I'm here on my cushion where I like to practice meditation to offer you lots of great benefits and tips. So let's get started. You can just Google top benefits of meditation and you'll get such a lengthy list, science-backed benefits that are available to you. And some of the top include reduced stress and anxiety, which I don't know about you, but in my life, those are pretty high for me right now. You can enjoy the benefit of an increase of self-awareness, which I've talked a lot about is a superpower so that you can understand yourself and make changes that you desire. You can show up for your life more fully and respond to situations in alignment with what's important to you. Meditation promotes emotional and mental health. And there are a host of physiological benefits that you can enjoy, including lowering your blood pressure and reducing chronic pain. And then some of my favorite benefits that are less talked about, they're a little less tangible or measurable, but they are still absolutely benefits, include connecting with your values and what's important to you. So I don't know about you, but for a long time, I didn't even really know what my values were, what was important to me. So how could I live in alignment with those values? And live in alignment with what's important to me. But once I was able to have a deeper understanding through my meditation practice, I was able to make shifts in my life so that I could have more contentment and joy and fulfillment. And another benefit is the connection with your inner wisdom or your intuition. So if you've ever had that experience of the, uh, I just had a gut feeling about this and you weren't sure if you should follow that gut feeling, when you meditate, you have a deeper connection and belief in that inner wisdom and intuition. That's definitely one of my favorite benefits of my meditation practice. Now that you have a sense of all of the wonderful benefits that you can enjoy, you might be wondering, well, how do I start a consistent meditation practice? I don't even know where to begin. Do I need tools? Do I need guidance? Well, let me share some tips for you on how to get started. So the first step is really to just get started. <laughs> so you don't need to have any special props or any special seating arrangement. You don't even have to be seated if you don't want to. You could lie down if that's more comfortable. But I would recommend in the beginning especially finding a space that you can be comfortable and that you can avoid disturbances. And that might be difficult if you're in a home full of people or animals or, you know, there are just disturbances all around. And you can absolutely practice meditation in a space that's not absolutely quiet. And that's okay. Those disturbances, the, the noises, the movements, the rustling around, those can be great teachers. Meaning, can you be calm and present amongst the chaos. And as I said, just like any skill, it's a practice. So notice your initial reaction to that disturbance or the stimulus. 
show yourself some compassion and acceptance, and then come right back to the practice. So another tip would be start over as many times as you need and give yourself some grace and kindness when you do need to start over. The next one is a big one. Let go of expectations and shoulds. So just like nutrition and exercise, meditation isn't a one size fits all process. So choose a variation, choose a method that works for you. And that might be using a guide. It might be a single focus practice where you're focusing on one thing and you're gonna continue to come back to that one thing. That might be a mantra or an affirmation. It might be your breath. It might be the sensations in your body. Or perhaps you don't want to close your eyes and look inward. You can use an external focal point, a candle flame, a picture. Whatever works for you is fine. And with that, you'll just keep coming back to that focal point. And if you're one of those people who find that it's just really difficult to sit still, then Try a walking meditation where you're noticing the strike of your foot. You're noticing the environment around you. You're moving in relationship with your breath. And that will allow you to experience the same benefits of meditation without having to sit still, which I know can be a little bit challenging. Let go of the belief that your mind will stop thinking because it won't stop thinking. <laughs> but what you might experience is a little more space or spaciousness between your thoughts. And that always feels really nice. So give that a try, letting go of the belief that your mind is going to stop thinking. Keep in mind that it isn't always going to be easy. And that's okay. It doesn't mean you're doing it wrong if it feels challenging or if it feels uncomfortable even. That's part of the practice. Sometimes you're going to sit down and all you're going to feel is the discomfort in your back or your knee or your mind is going to be moving 100 miles a minute and that's okay. So again, give yourself some compassion. Have patience for the process. And another tip is to connect with your intention. And what I mean by that is when you sit down or lie down for your practice, as you're beginning, consider why you are practicing. Why are you showing up for this experience? And you might even have to work with that intention prior to actually getting to the meditation, because if you're not connected with your intention, why would you continue to practice when you have work to do or you have cleaning to do, tasks to do, you have people to be with? There's so many things that are vying for our time. Why would you choose meditation? And I'm not going to tell you the answer to that because you need to discover that on your own. So as you get started, begin to consider that intention. And if you haven't tried our free seven day course, for mindfulness and meditation, I would recommend giving that a shot. It has lots of science and deeper information than what I can give you in this video. So give that a try. And as you've heard in this video, meditation is a practice that has immense benefits for your health and overall well being. While it may feel difficult to start and sustain a consistent meditation practice, if you follow the tips in this video, you'll be well on your way to enjoying and experiencing all of these positive benefits that I mentioned. As you start to see the benefits, you may be looking for other self-care practices to add to your routine or your repertoire. You may even have a few self-care practices that work for you. But if you're looking for more self-care strategies, Take a look at this video I've lined up on the screen to go over lots of tips and benefits of why we need self-care practices in our life. So head over to that video and I'll see you there.